Good morning on Thursday the 28th of April and today would have been my dad's birthday. Our opening prayer. We pray that God's faithfulness is known in a world which is full of change and hope, fear and adventure and among our families, friends and in our homes. Amen. Our readings today come from Psalm 14 and Exodus 17 verses 1 to 7. A popular round in most quizzes is the one about food and drink. We all spend a reasonable amount of time thinking about this, shopping for the items and preparing the meal, let alone the time spent eating and enjoying it. Certainly the Israelites in the Exodus reading find themselves focusing on matters of food and drink. Yesterday, they were mainly focusing on the food part. I suspect that most of us know what a quail is, but how much do we know about manna? According to a modern Bible translation, it's white like coriander seed, and tastes like a wafer made from honey. It's not surprising that it was given a name which in Hebrew sounds like the phrase, what is it? The manna and quail sound quite tasty, but I also suspect that they were quite dry to eat. Given that the Israelites were in the desert, which is a very hot and dry environment, I think that fluid would be very important. A popular question in food and drink rounds is, where is the source of an item? And uh, in this case, perhaps what the question should have been to the Israelites is, can you identify any potential source for water, given that you are in the middle of a desert? There was no obvious link, and the river Nile had been left behind some time ago. Who'd have thought that striking a rock would release water? But when God is the ultimate source, anything is possible. And their questioning is considered to be an expression of lack of faith in God. At the start of Psalm 14, it says, The fool says in their heart, There is no God. The Israelites' lack of trust could have been expressed in a similar way. The psalm continues to talk about the Lord looking down from heaven on all humans to see who understands and who seeks God. In Exodus, Moses seeks to understand and takes time out to listen to God. But what about us? Do we follow Moses' example of seeking out God in whatever he's doing? Or do we display a lack of trust similar to that shown by the Israelites? Our next prayer. Sovereign God, the defence of all who trust in you and the strength of all who suffer, look in mercy on all who are afflicted and oppressed and deliver them through the might of our Saviour, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. For today's prayer points, let's pray for young people, especially as the exam season is upon us. Let's pray against gang culture and its influence, particularly over young people, and the way that there is the needless destruction of human life. And potential. 
And let's pray for protection against all harmful influence. The Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. <coughs> the St. Luke's team members all send their love to you. And our blessing for today. The Almighty God keep you and protect you from all evil. The Christ of the cross, deliver you from all darkness. The Holy Spirit, guide you in all goodness. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be with you and your loved ones, today and 